Austin, Texas. Three more Democrats returned to the Texas House late Thursday afternoon, giving the chamber just enough members to establish a quorum and begin work on an ambitious agenda chock full of conservative priorities. At the top of the list, a GOP bill that would rewrite Texas election laws. Previous versions of the election bill had prompted Democratic walkouts, denying the House a quorum and bringing the legislature to a standstill. With just 17 days left in the second special session of the summer, House Speaker Dade Phelan, R. Beaumont, began the process of assigning bills to committees, which in turn set hearings for as soon as the weekend, the beginning of the legislative process. There were 99 members present Thursday, including two Democrats who had been among the 57 lawmakers to leave Texas for Washington in July at the start of the first special session, reps. Armando Wall and Anna Hernandez of Houston. Also returning to the floor on Thursday was Representative Garnet Coleman, D. Houston, a longtime legislator who supported the mission of his quorum-busting colleagues but did not join them in fleeing the state as he recovered from a lower leg amputation. Their return put an end to a weeks-long standoff with Republicans, who threatened to arrest absent members. Members, this has been a very long summer. Phelan said after a quorum was established in the chamber. I appreciate you all being here. It's time to get back to the business of the people of Texas. Democrats had denied Republicans a quorum since July 12, when they boarded two private jets headed for Washington. Members spent weeks lobbying national leaders for passage of federal voting rights legislation and speaking against the Republican voting bill moving through the Texas legislature. A hush fell over the chamber as Coleman, Wall and Hernandez arrived on Thursday, with Wall pushing Coleman in a wheelchair. In a joint statement, the lawmakers said they believe their efforts in Washington were successful and they are returning to Texas to continue the fight on the House floor. The voting bill that prompted Democrats' walkout would make various changes to voting in Texas, including prohibiting drive through voting and overnight voting, among other provisions. Republicans argue that the bill will improve election integrity, but Democrats say that it would disenfranchise voters. Representative Jim Murphy, chairman of the House Republican Caucus, said Monday that there is opportunity for negotiation once Democrats return to the floor. On every matter, and I would ask that their own experience be their guide, they've seen this House compromise with what's in a bill. What bill moves forward, said Murphy of Houston. That's absolutely a possibility once they're here, but they need to get here to make that happen. Governor Greg Abbott called a special legislative session for early July after Democrats walked off the House floor at the end of the regular session to kill the elections bill.